Good morning my internet chums. Um, I'm doing another video. Um, today me and my friend are going to HomeSense, which is about half an hour drive from here, which isn't too bad. We're lucky we've got one near us actually. Um, oh, there's a massive Primark there. So, I'll probably show you what I buy. I might do a little montage of um, <laughs> Primark, HomeSense. Not like you just probably want to see that, but you know, some people love it. I love it. Don't go often. Oh, so, uh, yeah. You'll probably see a pumpkin. I want a ceramic pumpkin from HomeSense. So at least you'll see some at Halloween y because it is like nearly October. In fact, is it October in two days? I think it's October and Tuesday. Oh, when you're watching this, it'll already be October because I'm going to upload this next weekend. So that'll be like nearly a week of October over with. I'll show you my outfit before we go. Not like many of you will be interested, but some people might be. Oh, hey, <laughs> we're on the landing now. I've got an ASOS denim jacket with like a bulk lining. It's really thick and really warm. And then I've got this jumper on, which I was telling you about in my last video, with the cringy quote. And it says, be a warrior, not a warrior. People, what? People look up to me as a strong woman. Don't worry, you are doing just fine. And I think that's quite inspirational. So, you know, I'll listen to this. These are actually jeggings from Asda, George. I think they were £8. They were size 10. And then I've got my Fiorelli, is it Fiorelli? Trusty backpack. So, yes. I am going to go and pick my friend up now. I don't know whether we'll film anything in the car because I don't even know if she thinks I'm doing, well, does she know I'm doing YouTube? Probably, but we'll see. Jess off, she's not here. Look at that lighting. I'm gonna show you what we've bought or what I've bought. We went to Home Sense, we went to Primark, we went to Asda Home. Um, oh, and then Aldi on the way back. I've got a couple of bits to show you from Aldi as well. Not that exciting, but you know, I'm gonna show you. Some of you might be interested. This is my first bag from HomeSense. It's actually my Disneyland Paris bag, but you know, save the planet and all that. So the first thing I'm going to show you is bagel chips, which look like this. They are delicious. They were £2.79, but then we did see them in Aldi for like 99 pence. 
for pretty much the same thing. And I got a couple of candles. The candle section in there was so busy. Anyway, this is a candle. It's by Sand and Fog and it is Holiday Berry. That's what flavour it is. <laughs> flavour. Can you see? And it's a coconut wax blend, apparently. But look how cute the lid is. It says, there's no place like home for the holidays. And if I can get it off, there we go. It's got two little gnomes on the lid. How cute. It's a two wick, two wick candle. And it just, that it says, it is what it says, holiday berries. It literally smells like berries. And that was $7.99. It is quite a big one. Oh God. Sorry, Cece. If anyone else is, is if you've noticed Cece sat there. Hey, Cece. No, she's wondering what's going on. She usually speaks to me when I talk to her. There's a bit of a theme with my candles. This candle is also a berry, apple currant, this one's called. It says apple currant, sweet and tart. Or is it apple currant the brand? Oh no, DW Home. Is apple currant the brand? It says apple currant, sweet and tart, uniquely crafted scented candle. And this lid, is actually rubber. This one smells a little bit more like Christmas, a bit more spicy. Not really the scent I'd usually go for, but and this was $7.99 as well. The next one has been wrapped like a little Christmas present for me. This is my favourite. Jess kept telling me I don't need it. I kept telling her I do need it. Oh no, he's got a crack. Is that a crack? Oh no, it's just a sticky line. It's all good. It's all good. I don't know what scent he is. Oh, black birch and balsam, it says. But he's a little gnome. <laughs> First I thought he was simply a gnome. But it turns out his hat is the lid and he's a candle. Oh, my cat's gone. Bye! That'd be a cute gift, although... I feel like it'd only be a cute gift for me. He was $7.99 as well. On to the last thing. I got this little mouse. She is adorable. I picked this one because of her sad ears. Although she has got thread hanging off her all over the place. But I'll just trim that off. But she's going to sit on my TV stand, I think. She was $9.99. And she looks like this. She's got a heavy weighted bum. A little jumper on. A little skirt scarf she's got a hat it's got wiring so you can move that around and look at her sad ears like the others had ears like this but she's got sad ears that flop down which made me want her even more and then she's got oh no she's got a bloody hole in her leg but she has long legs but yeah she'll sit on my tv stand and i think she's so cute you're cute anyway that's everything from home sense next I'll show you what I got from Asda. Can I show you everything from Asda? I've got some stuff in here that are from my mum. I don't think my mum will watch these videos. But this is a thing. Every single year, I buy my mum's toe post slippers. This year, she got these pink leopard print ones. They are wet because I got drowned running back to the car. Um, they were £6. Next thing I bought my mum... It's this like house jacket. She doesn't wear a dressing gown. She just likes fuzzy house coats. So I got this one. It's super soft. Has these hairy balls on it. And a hood with this like scraggy looking fluff. Which is really really soft. So I think it should be made up with that. And it's all fluffy inside as well. And then that comes with matching fluffy pants long pants and the cuffed at the bottom but for the set for the trousers and the fluffy top it was 20 pounds um, the next thing i got was something for dylan who's matt's son matt's my boyfriend um and it is playstation pajamas they look like that it's long sleeve top with the playstation logo and then on the bottoms it's got like the controller which are pretty cool. I think you'll like them, like cuffed at the bottom as well. And 
that was £10 and that's um, one of his Christmas presents. And then I got this headband, which I wanted the old school stretchy one. You know, it's like a, it was like in a circle with like this zigzaggy, and then you stretch it over your head and then push it back. But I couldn't find one anywhere until I found this, which does the same thing, but obviously it's a headband. One more thing, and it's universal windscreen mount for mobiles adjustable to fit all phones up to nine centimeters width but that was 10 pound as well and it's just it sucks onto your car window and you just put your phone on it so hopefully that works uh, my dad's just text asking if you can go for a brew give me a second i'm just doing my video that's the last thing i got from asda I might show you what I got from Aldi next, actually. So, from Aldi, I literally nipped in for a dip for my bagel, crispy bagel thing that I bought. I ended up buying caramelised onion hummus to dip them in, which basically this is all I needed to go into Aldi for. But then I got distracted and I bought these little toffee tarts, you know who doesn't like a toffee tart and then white chocolate flake truffles i've never had the white chocolate i've only had the milk chocolate look how nice they look um they're probably delicious because the milk ones are and then i got smoky bacon a sauce if you've ever been to gourmet burger kitchen they do bacon a sauce but it has like real bits of bacon in this doesn't look like it's got real bits of bacon in because I think that'd be weird. But I'm going to give that a go. I've never seen that before. And I've seen this, which the word thick got me. Galaxy Luxuriously Thick Hot Chocolate. That sounds amazing. Thick. Yum. And the last thing I got from Aldi is this, um, what's it called? Diffuser. I always have a reed diffuser in the living room and this one is pomegranate flavour. I think this was like £3 something but it looks quite expensive although it's just from Aldi. So that's the last thing I got from Aldi. Now is the last thing and the little well, last shop and it's Primark but I wanted a jumper with like a roll neck and I'm so into this colour at the minute and I got it in a size small because they are quite big. £13, I don't think that's too bad, and it's got this like chunky detailing, but yeah, I'll defo like that on, I think. <laughs> the next thing, I seem to be obsessed with this like orangey autumn colours, I got this half zip fleece jumper, it's like proper old school fleece, like static fleece that makes your hair stick off. This was £8, and let me zip it up for you, it's got a nice rose gold detail on the zip detail colour zip and it looks like this I got this in a size small which is a 10 to 12 and my hair has gone static already I also got these pajamas oh my goodness these are probably my favourite purchase got them in a size 10 to 12 which is a size small which not, I'm sure it never used to be a small these are 10 pound and they are so soft it's long sleeve top long bottoms but they have little um, woodland creatures skiing on them and little trees. They're so cute. But they are super soft. I can't describe how soft they are. I wish you could feel how soft they are. I'll probably sweat my arse off in them, but you know, proper cozy. Oh, there's a penguin as well. Oh. I got these socks. These are Casper socks. And that one glows in the dark, apparently. It says boo. And then there's plain white ones with Casper. And then there's black ones with the nasty other ghosts and Casper as well. They were £2.50. I also got these gloves, which Jess laughed at me. I mean, they're really warm, that's why I got them. And they were £5. They have, they're like waterproof, proper grandma gloves with a bit of fur. And they have an adjustable strap around the wrist, but I can't tell you how warm these are like crazy warm and we're meant to be going prague in 
January and apparently it's minus five-ish in January so I thought these would be ideal and they've got really nice grip but yeah really really nice thinchulated what does thinchulate mean? I got a couple of boring things which I'll show you I got Matt a I think it's like a protein bar 20 grams of protein chocolate salted caramel flavor vitamin and protein bar yeah it's protein bar thought you could try that I don't know how much that was probably a pound and these nudie snacks and the light little coconut chips and they're kind of, these are cho yeah chocolate flavor ones they're a bit like toenails not gonna lie they look a little bit like little brown toenails but they are so nice I'm not a massive coconut fan but these are actually delicious and I think they're like a pound as well. I got these little velvet headbands. Black, pink and like a red colour. They are really soft. They are £1.50. These cosy socks, which are for me, £2.50. Might put some of them on my feet. Luxurious. Super soft. Another boring purchase is these like it's kind of like felt feel hangers this is the only hangers i have in my wardrobe how many were these 10 for four pound i love them oh they have rose gold hanger absolutely love them converted matthew into them as well so he's got a wardrobe full of them the last thing i bought which i don't actually own is a hot water bottle and it's got this really cute little sheep cover on she even has a little bow round her tail. And she was £6. So, you know, it's that time of month. I can cuddle her. I wonder what I should call you. Lily the lamb. Oh, you look like a lily. That's everything I bought. I actually only went to Home Sense to buy a, like, ceramic ornamental pumpkin. But they didn't have any on their own. But, never mind, I got a little mouse that can sit on my TV stand. Which is cute, right? Okay, I need to name the mouse. Oh, Millie. Millie Mouse and Lily Lamb. Oh, I'm going to put Millie Mouse on my TV stand now. She doesn't really look that Christmassy, right? Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe, give it a like, tell your mates to subscribe and like. And I'll see you next weekend, probably. Don't know what's going on, but I'll see you then. Bye.